Pals Demise, coming back at you with another cyberpunk video. So, I believe it was last night, for me, that um, I got a notification from Reddit, cyberpunk thing, because phones track everything you say and do. <laughs> anyway, so Re I got a notification from Reddit about an iguana. Apparently, you can have a pet iguana in cyberpunk and then that led me down a rabbit hole of trying to find a legitimate way back into Kunpeki Plaza which is where the iguana is minor spoilers if you've not played the story Barty Blar this is heist round two going back in for the iguana everyone a lot of posts and threads and stuff online say that the way to get back into Compeki Plaza is to do the corridor glitch where you park just right away from the main gate down there that gate and yeah, I don't like the corridor glitch when I mean why worry with something that requires like microscopic precision when you can just smash your face into the ground on the other side of it after you climb over a wall so you do need the double jump or the boost jump um, but you do not need to have a car and you do not need to do the car door glitch so if that's something that's been putting you off from wanting to go back and get the iguana egg to have a pet iguana in your apartment uh, it's not something you really have to worry about So you have to go to the back back here. And I read in one of the threads that if you raise these uh, blockades with your cyberware, there's some civilians back here that will run around like crazy and you can scare them off, you know, if you uh, shoot in the air at them or something. It didn't really work out for me, but I did manage to find a way in here. I apologize in advance. This is a little bit of a longer video. So I'm trying to find where these civilians are and I uh, go ahead and open these blockades here in just a second. There we go. Get those open, because I'm like, oh, that'll probably work. That seems like a pretty easy way and the best way to tell um, someone how to do it. I've also heard that the main gate of the Kenpeki building can be opened the way that I'm about to open those industrial shutters back there. But it does take a little while. Because once you get inside, you take the elevator back up. They didn't move. The civilians didn't move. They didn't run. They just hid. So, did what you do in any video game in that situation. You get a wanted level. And then, and then bait the... Uh, pursuing officers so to speak over to that area that's how I wound up getting through it I've also read in some threads and stuff that you could get a wanted level before going to the main gate and if the uh, police officers get near the main gate that they will that the main gate will open as well but it also works for the industrial shutters so if you kept a wanted level the whole way through I don't know any reason that you wouldn't be able to go through the main gate and through the industrial shutters. The hard part of that though is, which I do wind up having to go through even in, in this method, is that you have to lose the wanted level before you can use the elevator to get upstairs. But once the um, shutters and are open, you can travel around the area pretty well without worry, having to worry about them closing again. I don't know if they ever close again, like if they always stay open from the point that you get them open. I've not tested that yet. It's not really Im terribly important, I don't think. But I do know that you can leave the area to uh, lose the wanted level and come back once the shutters are open. The hard part's just getting the uh, officers that are now chasing you close enough to the shutters for them to open. But there's a nice little sort of part of cover there. 
you have to be ready for a fight I guess if you're gonna do it this way or if you're gonna use the wanted level technique it's not too bad though there we go I got one close enough doors are open you might want to make sure you're somewhat leveled up if you're gonna try it that way otherwise you can try the car door glitch which I'm not comfortable enough explaining I've only managed to do it once and that was how I got into Kenpeki the first time which I went over the wall because I'm like why would I worry about clipping through the first gate when I can just go over the wall <laughs> so I didn't worry about it and then I got in here and I'm like oh no there's no other way to possibly get in there anyway um, hard part now is losing the wanted level but the way that I came in is also the way to go back out so we'll see that in just a second that I decide well I can't lose them in the elevator like I had sort of hoped to do because you kind of have to break combat to get out of combat so it just it really comes down to getting out of the hotel area getting back out of Kempeki and you can't go down into the ocean I tried that stuff the first time uh, the first time I tried this, I got to the top and th didn't think I could actually get back to Yorinobu's penthouse. But that's not true. It seems that the developers went back in around patch 1.5 and put an invisible wall over the area where you and your buddy Jackie fall through during the heist. So you can't jump back out that way. But there is a little tree now, which I also read about in another thread. And I think I watched a bit of a video on it. And the, the video didn't really explain it very well. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now I'm just trying to lose this wanted level. I thought I was going to lose it going up on the roof because I was out of combat. And then I'm back in combat. Either way not a horribly big deal because like I say as long as you as long as I as far as I've found as long as you don't go too far from the area the shutters don't come back so it's entirely possible that well for one it's entirely possible that you could uh, do the car door glitch or you could get the wanted level to open the, the gates and doors for you um, I read another one that says if you leave some of the guards alive in the lobby that you can get them to engage into combat with you and that will allow you to don't like rush outside and the shutters will open when they get near the trigger or whatever for them. But I mean if you're going to try to be that preemptive then you could grab the iguana egg the first time you do the heist and you don't have to come back and do this because as far as I know the egg is there the first time of the heist I just didn't know about it before and don't really want to start on a fourth character at the moment um, just for the sake of getting the iguana egg and it's more fun for me to go back and say hey I'm on my main character the character that kind of has it all the character that I hope there's some like follow up DLC to the game for um on that character I, I'm like I want an iguana <laughs> which you'll see me actually place the egg as that character again getting a little bit ahead of myself but you'll see me place the egg as that character because for some reason I think I came back too early as uh, this character. And the place to put the iguana egg is not there. So, but yeah, once you lose the wanted level, you can just go right back to the shutters. As long as, again, can't say if you leave the area too far. Um that they'll still be there I could actually maybe test that even in the time that I'm recording this do a test and record a voiceover all at the same time I mean I've got cyberpunk up on my xbox right now so I have since being back to Kenpeki fast traveled back to V's apartment 
I mean, you kind of have to take my word for it. I might throw in a clip at the end just to see if those shutters are still open. Um, I don't think I can record and edit video at the same time, but I don't have any reason to lie to you. Fast travel back up here to that fast travel point just below Compeki Plaza. Yeah, once you're in, though, you just kind of backtrack the exact way through the hotel that you come out with uh, Jackie during the heist. I don't know if it could be done before the heist or not. That would be an interesting thing also to test. Maybe that could be a future video or something if anyone is interested. Because uh, Compeki Plaza is in Watson. So I don't know any real reason that you wouldn't be able to get inside the building using that method beforehand. It, that would actually be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm going to have to come back and explore it before the heist. I might be able to do that on the PC just to see if anything is in there. Because we know ways to get through the wall, so it doesn't really matter in that video if I use no clip or not. But yeah, you just make your way back up the, through the hotel. While I'm making my way back to the hotel in the game to see if the shutters are still open. And then the trick is, like in the first... It was like a blog website thing that I read... That was telling me how to get inside. In that first one that I was reading, it said to go back up the way that you and Jackie fall. And that has had an invisible wall placed over it. So, I also found that you could use this tree. Because I was ready to give up. Fully, 100% ready to give up. To surrender. To say there's no way back inside this place. They've patched it because they took away the ability to go through this uh, opening right here. But it turns out that there is one for a tree. And also, I will actually probably clip it right now. The shutters are still gone after having fast traveled back to Compeki Plaza. Like, the shutters are not there anymore. So it seems that they, they stay gone once you've got them open. So I clipped the last minute of that video, so hopefully that's long enough from the Xbox to uh, show and I will add that in at the end of this video here yep it actually is long enough I believe All right. <clears throat> so um, kind of skipped over it I apologize on the tree there's some forks and I read in one of the reddit threads that I was doing my digging in said that getting over the tree is the hard part it's really not you just jump for the fork in the tree in the branches and you can stand on those pretty easy and then you just look at the bars that go across the the roof there and you can get in and here's the iguana and his fashionable t pose I, this is one thing that i find interesting about the game you can kind of watch me picking through some stuff here and there's quite a bit of loot and stuff that i think everyone has tended to miss but one thing that fascinates me about this game, and I, it's a weird decision by the developers, why does this area still exist? They don't seem to want you to be able to get back in here. So why does the interior or the roof of this building exist in this way at all? Like, why does it not despawn and save the game on RAM and stuff? Because think about all the, like, random destructible bits and interactable things and the elevator and for one thing all the quote-unquote corpses of the NPCs all of that stuff has to take some toll on loading and all that and you're not supposed to be able to get back into this area it's, it's so it's got to take a toll on the performance of the game Why not despawn this sort of stuff? Why does it need to be here? I mean, it's cool that it's here. I just don't understand why they would leave it here. Because I don't believe that it serves any true purpose. 
So it's just food for thought, I suppose. I'm not a developer or a programmer or anything. It just seems to me like that having all these assets and stuff always loaded in is taxing, would be taxing. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, and there's a few like access points and stuff you might have missed if you decide to come back through the hotel that you probably didn't hack and stuff on the way in. Now, one thing besides just the that nobody really mentions aim for the fork in the tree and do your double jump from there or your boosted jump. Um, no one really mentions how to get back down because it used to be in the game before 1.5 that you could do a, you could slide off the edge of a building or whatever and as long as you caught the slide just right you'd fall to the ground and stay in the slide animation and take no damage but they have patched that out unfortunately making it to where you can no longer get access to uh V's fancy apartment, fancy end game apartment, because you can't, like, not legitimately. I mean, you can on PC if you got no clip, you can get anywhere you want. But on consoles, if you want to do it, there's no way anymore. So I'll just go ahead and cut out where I went back down the elevator and stuff. It's just the same way you went up. I just kind of hacked and looted my way back out. And then when you're back down here, it's as simple as the way that I went out to uh, evade the police. But there are invisible walls all around the shore. There's sort of a shoreline with like some wave breaks and stuff and such down that way. And I thought maybe that'll be a way out. But no, it you can't get out that way. This is the only way that I've found to get back out of the uh, area is by these conveniently placed rocks that go right up to where you can jump over a wall and stuff. It's like they do want you to get back in here, but they make you work for it, which is just odd. Again, food for thought. Why don't they despawn things and why do they make it to where you can get in here when they don't seem like they want you to? <laughs> so, or maybe it's just so that people make videos like this and hopefully people watch them and it gets more attention to the game and stuff. So maybe it's truly more genius than you think it is. Hmm. Just talked myself into a corner. <laughs> anyway, futzing with the motorcycle now and, um, because it doesn't want to come to me. It wants to drive away. But there's a fast travel point down here. I go back to V's apartment here in just a moment and we'll see that it doesn't work for whatever reason maybe i need to it may, there's probably a certain part within the story where the place to put the iguana egg comes up at but i'm not sure what it is because this is like right after doing the heist on this game and then with my level 50 everything is done character I just walked right into the apartment and plopped it down as you'll see at the end of the video speaking of I need to bring back in that other video which you'll probably still sort of in a way have to take my word on but you do see me here save my game I think in my apartment so go ahead and be downloading that new video clip that I just recorded of me going back to Compeki Plaza and the industrial shutters still not being there even after fast traveling to V's apartment and back. Or the mega building apartment because there are different apartments now. Which is cool but completely pointless. I also decided to look at this point to see if I could see the uh, beginning of the getting a pet cat mission but it's not there. I don't know if you can technically have both. I saw some of that in the Reddit threads and stuff as well. Like the people were saying that their egg hasn't hatched. And they were wondering if you could have the cat and the iguana at the same time. So I don't know if I can really truly test that one or not. Because it apparently takes a long time in game for the iguana to hatch quote unquote so 
Yeah, it's not there on on the uh, new guy save. Now what? Patience is a virtue. Oh. But it is there on the uh, level 50 save, so I was able to place it. So if there's any future DLC that that character is able to play through, maybe during that time the iguana will spawn. Maybe it already has because I did skip a few in-game days. I don't know. But we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patron. Check out the links and stuff in the description. And as always, remember to be safe, be good. Hope to catch you in the next one.